guys worked 24 hours straight getting these boats ready. Right up to the last minute, they know we had some crews up at the uh, at boat shop working on the boats. I know that uh, Joseph, uh, one of our good friends from Augsburg, spent 16 straight hours trying to get his boat ready for this weekend. This guy on the, uh, the racers' way. This is a really crucial turn. Chris, we have another stoppage up in the fourth corner. Somebody spun out. Looks like a gold or yellow boat. He's up there right off that pin in that fourth corner. He's sitting dead in the water. Yeah, we do have two boats spun out. Hatches in too, so we do know that he's okay. If we can't get these boats out of the way here, we're going to see a black flag shortly. I mean, there's only so many times these fellas can go down, and they're going to run out of gas, and they're going to complete the actual race. Well, Chris, once they go by them, they know where they, where they are, so they'll, they'll stay, steer clear of them, and they'll be okay. signifying that these guys are on their last lap and making their way to position himself in the start line. This is our 10th heat of the day, our second 350 on the schedule. We have all those 350 qualifiers left over from yesterday, this morning. We've got one more 350 after this heat, and then we're going to jump right into the Grand Prix, and that's uh, one of my favorite parts of the day, and that's why we dragged Mr. Grand Prix over here. He was going to tell you a little bit more about the Grand Prix when we get back to that heat. This is where the drivers are looking at their watches, trying to position and time this start perfectly. As we mentioned earlier this morning, these are video start. These fellas don't know if they scratch on that start line until after the race is going. Even though they're mic'd in with their big crew, chances are they're not going to know until they pull up to the dock. This race, again, is the second 350 heat. We have two of the top racers in the country. Top two, Mark Corio, sitting at 85. He's racing the 333 boat. That's Inferno. That's the orange, black, and kind of red fire look to it. Then we have second. That's H15. He's the green boat. John Pierre Morin. He's only three points behind. There's Jean Pierre right there. 